Hey guys, this is Cybernet8610, and I have one of each of the new tins, as you can see, Illuminite and uh, Photon Dragon. So I'm going to open those for you guys. I got these from StrikeZoneOnline.com, show the logo. That way people, I, I think people sometimes don't have the sound on or something, because they always ask me where I get the stuff from. And uh, so yeah, um, let's go with Illuminite first. Illuminite's the one I'm more interested in, really, since it's uh, similar to my logo. Let's see. I think Illuminate's going to be actually very useful. I'm going to try to use it in a few decks that I'm working on. So yeah, here's like a... I guess it explains Xyz or what is it? Pull decks you can make. I don't know. Not really useful to me. Let's see, open up the promo pack. It's freezing over here, that's why I'm a little shaky. Number 10, Illuminate, of course, Aaron, Dark Soul, Neptune, and Soul Morning. I'm keeping the two Soul Mornings from these two tins. I'm going to have a, a bunch of these tins. But yeah, i got to have at least two for me that I can use. But then, uh, whenever I open up the other tins, the others will be for trade. Um, let's go Storm of Ragnarok first. How about that? Also, it looks like we're going to have a lot of videos this weekend. I have, I have a lot of videos I really need to get uploaded. See it, Dvern and Forbidden Lance. Hey, that's not too bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, just put it over to the side, I guess. Storm of Ragnarok. I've seen a lot of good pulls out of these tins, a lot of bad, so hopefully that means I'm getting some good pulls out of this. Forbidden Lance is a pretty good card. See Blackwing Boris. Aw. No hollow in that one. Oh well. Dream victory. Well, I get tour guides. Necklord Fortress. Ah. No hollow in that one. TG Dragonfly and Safe Zone. Hey, that's not bad. Safe zone's really useful. Let's see. Put that over to the side. Grief, that pack just went to pieces. And a piercing moray. Moray, yeah, that's hard to say. And wind up snail. Eh, not the best one, but I guess it's still hollow. See, yeah, not bad, and let's see, move this stuff out of the way and open up the dragon tin. Photon dragon. Yeah, it's pretty cool too. I guess it's the new blue eyes, I guess you could say. Interesting card. I wish they would have done with these tins like they did in the past, where they give you a few preview packs. So we get Photon Shockwave a little early. Another one of these little things, whatever. Not really useful. And say promo pack. Tonal Dragon. It's pretty neat. Fossil Dina, Yatos, Malefic Stardust, and uh, some warning. We'll go over what's for trade at the end of the video, too. Tonal Rang Rock. I'm going to keep a lot of the promos, though, from these two. Like I said, though, I'm getting a bunch of these tins, so I'll have a lot of promos for trade, too. Symphonic Warrior Piano. Oh, no hollow. What barracks? Screen victory. I didn't want to come out of the pack. Hush, psychic. Clear? I don't know. Oh, come on, give me a hollow. This might be one of the bad tins. Blackwing Jin. 
Uh, Lantern Dragon Mount. I guess at least it's a hollow, but not really the best one. I have a bunch of them. And uh, Generation Force. I can just get it out there. Come on, give me something really cool. A cool like sea monster that I can use. Packs are not one to open for me. There we go. Earth or er, Bright Future. Ah. Only one hollow. That that tin one is good, but I really needed the promos, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to show the hollows and the promos, of course, and we'll go for what's for trade and what's not. I'm going to keep the Photon Dragon and Dyna and the Yatos. I'll trade the Stardust. Keep in one of them. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to keep these two warnings. Uh, keep in the Illuminate, the um, uh, Light Sworn, and uh, X Saber and Tyrant Neptune. Those are going to be for trade. Keeping that silver morning, and I think all these are going to be for trade. Those are all the hollows I got from the tins. Yeah, not too bad. The first tin was pretty good, the Illuminate tin, because Illuminate's awesome, because he looks like my logo, kind of. So, as you can see, I plan to uh, try to use him in a few days. I think it's going to be really useful, especially like to gadgets and stuff. I don't know why a lot of people don't think this card's going to be as good, just because he needs uh, three uh, level four monsters, but still, it's still really useful. 2,400 attack and defense, not too bad. So, yeah, though. Uh, I, like I said, I'm going to have, I think, two more of each tin open very soon, so that means I'll have a lot more Solar Mornings and stuff for trade. But like I said, these won't be for trade because I need at least two that I can use in all the different decks that I'm working on. So yeah, though, anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, I got this from StrikeZoneLine.com, link in the description. I will have a link to that. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. Like I said, a lot of videos this weekend. Uh, my internet, of course, is acting slow, so hopefully I can get everything uploaded. Got contest ending, a uh, couple of binder videos. Uh, this opening and I believe a structure deck opening. So yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that and so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed my latest video. For more great videos over Yu-Gi-Oh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to check out the description to see my Facebook account and also see my website, cyrus.com for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh news. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.